Hi friends, welcome to our channel. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about how to make an interaction between HTML form and the subnet. In our previous video, already we have discussed how to create a dynamic web project and how to create and run a subnet on a uh, Tomcat web server. In case if you haven't watched that video, so the link is available in the description, uh, please watch that. So finally, let us get into this uh, video. So here I'm going to explain about how to make a or how to pass a data from HTML page to subnet. I'm just using my existing project. I have my dynamic web project uh, in the name of my web project. So there already I have defined my HTML page. So in that HTML page, I have designed my login, which will accept username as well as password. And I have a submit button. So the moment I click this submit button, it is going to call my subnet and also i have applied some css uh, to make some or to apply some designing to my uh, login page so first let us do one thing let me run this code and let us verify whether we are getting a login page or not so already we are familiar how to run web application on a Tomcat server. I'm just using the same steps. Right. So finally we are getting our login page successfully. So which is accepting username and password. So now my intention is what? The moment I click this submit button, I want to call a subnet. So let me create one subnet in my package. I'm just creating a new subnet by right clicking on my package, which is already created under the SRC folder. I'm selecting option sublet. So it is asking me to enter my sublet name. I will enter my sublet name is login sublet. And then I will click next and then finish. So now I am getting a sublet code like this. So from this just to reduce my code length, I'm just deleting some unwanted codes. So I will ensure that I have only do get method. And I will ensure that my do get method is empty as of now. So finally, you can look at my code right now. I have created a new sublet login sublet, which is extending HTTP sublet. And then I'm overriding do get method. In our previous video, we have overridden service method in our sublet, which will provide a generic service. But right now I'm overriding a do get method which will provide a specific service for HTTP protocol. I hope you are uh, understanding friends why I am overriding do get method because it is going to provide the specific service for HTTP pr protocol because as we already know all the web application is based on HTTP protocol. So that's the reason instead of service method I am overriding do get 
which is specific for http protocol and same as our uh, service method do get is also coming with request and response as a argument right so now we have created our subland so now what i have to do in that login page in that login html page i have to tell to my browser when i click my submit button you have to call login submit i'm repeating once again uh, friends so we have a login page and we have a login submit so our intention is the moment i click my submit button after entering my username and password i have to mention i want to call login submit so that i can specify with the help of action attribute in my form tag you can see i am coming with the attribute call action so here i will say i want to call login submit yes my intention is the user is going to enter username and the password and once the user click submit button i want to call login submit so that i will specify with the help of this action attribute so finally it will go to my login submit as we discussed in our previous video if i want to make a response to the client i need to create a print writer object i am just creating a print writer object with the help of response let it be out equal to response dot get writer and it's better to close print writer object at the end finally the moment i click my submit button in my login page dot html it is coming to this sublet in this sublet i have to write a code to read a value from the text box let me look at my html page and let me understand what is the name of the text box for the first text box i have given a name u name and the second text box name is pwd nothing but the password text box so i have to know this name so the first text box name is u name and second text box name is pwd so now let me write a code in my sublet to read a value from the html page so i need username as well as i have to read password you can look at the code the code is very simple i have a request argument so you know request means it is from client client browser so with the help of this request object i will invoke a method get parameter you can look at this method so this get parameter method is coming with a string argument and it is returning value in the uh, in the form of string so here i will say i'm going to read a value from the first text box name of the first text box is u name as per my uh, html page same way i will read my password as well i will say request dot get parameter of name of the second text box is pwd so friends we are clear how to read a value from the html page so i am summarizing the point once again if i want to call any sublet i have to come with a form action attribute so here i will say which sublet i want to call 
So for example, my intention is I want to call login subnet. So finally, the moment I click the submit button, it is going to invoke login subnet, which we have already created and, uh, under our package. In that login subnet, by using request object, I am invoking a method get parameter and name of the GUI. So not only text box, it's a name of the GUI. For example, I want to read a value from a text box as well as password box. So name of the text box is uname and name of the password box is pwd. So now I have read my value. So now let me write some uh, business logic just to uh, check our, our output. I will say if the username is equals admin and password equals let it be one two three if the username is admin and the password is one two three i am going to give a success response so how i am giving a response on a client browser i will be using out my print writer object dot println and i will say uh, welcome at me with uh, some uh, html tag let it be font color is green and let it be the output is bold and it's better to close the tags properly to get a correct output so finally if the username is admin and password is 123 it is going to display welcome admin else i'm going to display a failure message and the response can be positive or negative so i will say color as red and let it be bold i will say invalid username or password and it's better to close the tags properly right friends so finally our sublet code is also ready so finally in my html page i have added a action attribute in my form to invoke my login sublet and in that login sublet we have written a code to read a value from the text box by using request.get parameter and i'm just writing a simple business logic saying that if the username is admin and password is 123 say welcome admin else it is going to display invalid username or password now let me save all those code and let me run and let us verify whether it is invoking and making an interaction with my form or not I mean in my sublet. I'm just uh, running my uh, starting page, nothing but login page.html. So here what I am going to, I'm going to give some username. Let me give a correct username first. Admin password is 123. So this is my correct credential as per my sublet. Let us verify whether it is displaying success message or not. Me run it once again. I 
I'm just trying to give the correct credential. So now you can see, I think previously my server was not updated. So now you can see, since my credentials are right, it is displaying welcome at me with green color. So let us give some wrong username and password. Let me give a username as Vala and password as uh, maybe 456, some wrong password. Now you can see, now it is displaying invalid username or password. So oh friends, we are clear how to make a interaction between HTML form and the sublet or in other words, hope we understood how to send a data from HTML form to a server component sublet. So in our next video, we will discuss about uh, the difference between uh, do get and do post method. So thanks friends for watching this video. So if you like this video, please subscribe and click on the bell icon. So that as soon as I upload a new video, you will be getting the uh, notification. Also you can share it with your friends.